Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, we have here uh, Lauren from cPanel. Uh, Lauren is a product owner, I believe. Is that product right? Product manager. Product manager, okay. So um, it's uh, very nice to have Lauren here. Uh, thank you for taking the time to do this uh, interview with us. Uh, so we are here mostly a MariaDB or a database audience. So let's start off with uh, uh, Lauren. Can, can you tell us a bit more about cPanel? What What is cPanel? Um, well, I guess cPanel is a control panel for uh, web hosting uh, automation. So uh, yeah, I, 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 that, that's a simple answer. <laughs> okay, and basically what what would I be using cPanel for if I were to like install it on something? So generally anything that you use to host websites or mail or databases, but but databases associated with the website, usually. Okay, so uh, let's say I just have my own website I want to host. Would like getting cPanel and install it myself, would that be a good option? Or should I like let somebody else do it for me and me just be a user of uh, this product? I, I guess it depends on the level of control and the amount of work that you want to put into it. But uh, if you just have a website, a lot of people just go with like shared hosting. Uh, if you have your own website, but you want control of the server, you may might get your own VPS or something. Okay, interesting. So. Um... So basically we have like two kinds of users here. We have these hosting providers that give you like shared services and then you have the user, but then again, the user can also become a super user in a sense, if he wants to. Right. You could also be somebody that uh, resells uh, cPanel hosting. So you have a provider uh, that has the server and then they give you the ability to sell accounts on their server. Oh, okay. So I can actually make money off of this. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. Actually, I never thought of that, uh, that use case. Very, very nice. Uh, so when it comes to uh, distribution support, what kind of uh, distributions can I use when I install cPanel? And then can you just run me through the installation process for cPanel? Yeah, so you can install cPanel on uh, like Alma, uh, Linux 8 and 9. Rocky 8.9, Rocky Linux 8.9, uh, Ubuntu 20 and 22, uh, and then Cloud Linux 6, 7, 8, and 9, though 6 and 7 are not going to be able available anymore like in June. And then to install cPanel, um, you just need to go to cPanel.net, and we have just a one-liner you get, and you can run it on your server, and it does everything else for you. Oh, that's nice. So it's all automated? Correct. Right. Awesome. I like I like coffee. <laughs> uh, it's all automated. You don't have to do anything. You run you put the, the one liner of code in uh that pulls Marie to be or not Marie. Gosh, it pulls C panel down, installs it on your server. It's a completely unattended upgrade or install. And once it's done, uh, you can log into your cPanel to, through the browser, and there you go. Okay, great. Uh, that's that's actually quite um, quite nice. I I remember installing cPanel myself, and it was a pretty seamless experience. I think you've nailed that one pretty well. Thanks. Um, which actually brings me down to uh, the next point I want to make. So, um, um, MariaDB and cPanel have made an announcement that. Uh, cPanel plans on making MariaDB default uh, in cPanel. So can you go a bit into detail of what exactly that means? So when you do this install that we just talked about, <clears throat> because we want it to be very, I guess the word for it is unattended, uh, we don't want you to have to make changes uh, during the installation process or make selections. We choose kind of some of the software that gets installed and configured with cPanel for you. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, it is MySQL, but we're making a really cool big change and switching over to MariaDB and uh, kind of putting a focus on uh, promoting our relationship with MariaDB in that respect. Okay, so, 
So um, when it comes to making MariaDB de default, um, was there anything from MariaDB that actually, like, what is it that your customers really care about that actually makes uh, MariaDB the better choice um, moving forward? So I think innovation is important, right? Um, could, <clears throat> and, and the ability to work through any issues, for response for issues. Um, I know that we have some shared hosting that has actually found that MariaDB has been better for them like big, large partners have found that, that MariaDB has been better for them as far as performance goes. So mm -hmm. I think those kinds of things are what is really important. It's partially for the customers, right? Performance is huge. But also for, for us internally, it's really good because I get to make talk to you guys, right? We can we have a, an established relationship. And um, I know that when we open issues it's really easy to work together to find solutions. So, and it's really proactive in that respect. Yeah, I, um, I agree. I, I, I really like working with uh, you guys. We like one of our um, guiding principles is that we need to listen to the community because the server itself is built with and by the community in a large amount. So we're not just some developers stuck in our ivory tower somewhere and building things that we think are good. So we are always looking for feedback, and that's why we're um, we, we've we've talked to uh, users. We know how painful uh, they consider upgrades to be. They're all it's always like, oh, this is this big scary step I need to do. There's lots of bad things that could happen. Um, we try our best to make sure that upgrades are as painless as possible. Like we even we even have a pretty long deprecation policy. Few things get deprecated, so your applications really shouldn't break unless it's like it's a very, I know, very special use case. Um, so that's why I think uh, it, it's a pretty good match between MariaDB and cPanel. Uh, knowing how, uh, well, I I imagine that when you install a cPanel, you you want to not really have to worry about your server so much. Um, actually, I, I'm curious, does cPanel set up automatic updates as a sysadmin? Do I have to worry about updates anymore? So you you do for your operating system, but cPanel will automatically update by default unless you change it to not do that. OK, OK, makes. Well, that's that's pretty good. Um, now, on the, on the topic of upgrades, um, like we have this um this thing we're exploring like i know uh, in cpanel you have like right now two databases that you support like it's mariadb and mysql and um well when it comes to upgrading from 57 um mariadb is pretty good at this actually as part of our um, uh, fringe event we're actually going to be doing some live migrations and um we'll see how those turn out but we're very confident that migrations are going to be pretty painless However, we have a problem with uh, uh, 8.0. We're not as um, drop-in replacement as uh, we, we are for 5.7. So one thing that um, we, we're really looking forward to like working with you guys and hopefully anyone else that's listening in, uh, we want to know uh, the kinds of features that users are relying on from MySQL 8.0 and then are we missing them in uh, MariaDB? Like, if that is the case, we'd really love to hear about it. I don't know if you have uh, any ideas off the top of your head, Lauren, but uh, anything you could share would actually be pretty useful. Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, our users even know that there may be specific, specific features um, that they want. Um, right now, because we install MySQL by default, they think that's what they want. Um, and also, uh, I think as far as notoriety goes or historic understanding of a name, right, they are more akin to recognize from historic uh, reasons MySQL and say, that's the thing that I actually need. And I think the more and more that we promote MariaDB, the more and more the recognition will be there for them also. And the interesting thing is that 
uh, I would say that MariaDB is now more close to how MySQL used to be when the MySQL name exploded than uh, MySQL is now. So we are still sticking true to the like the the concepts that we've had at the start. So like listen to users, ensure stability, ensure uh, that nothing breaks. That's that's basically what we're always uh, looking for. Uh, and I think that's a really important for our customers too, especially with upgrades. Um, I think you mentioned a little bit about upgrades before, and I don't know if I'm jumping ahead of you, but um, you know, I have data. We've talked to our users about why they don't upgrade because uh, we mm -hmm. do have problems getting them to upgrade. That is a really big thing. I, I, I always want them to be on the latest, greatest version of everything, but they don't necessarily feel the same way. <laughs> Uh, and a lot of our users, when we kind of, when we pulled them, um, like, Hey, why are you still on this end of life version of this database as mm -hmm. it's, it's fear, it's fear of the unknown. They don't know what it's going to take to upgrade. They don't know, um, if, the, if they need a whole new server to do that, which they don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, and then some people are just, you know, stuck because there's no way to go from, um, uh, like MySQL 8 to something else. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Like we are, um, we're definitely listening to this problem and we're we're trying to attack it on multiple fronts. So we have plans on uh, getting 8.0 migrations to work one way or another. So that's, uh, that's in the cards. Yeah, now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking now of trying to leverage our audience here. So um, let's get their, um, let's say, um, brains uh, jumpstart a bit. Uh, like, do you see a way in that like, how the community could help us, like, to improve the this whole MariaDB cPanel story as a whole? I, I mean, I think feedback, right, is like the most important thing that I think for both of us. Uh, moving into the future and and new ideas and new people. I, I think people shouldn't be afraid to give their ideas. Um, I think you know, just continuing to contribute to the community and being active in development and working together. I think we can all, you know, work together to solve these problems. Uh, yeah, I'm, I agree. And actually, speaking of feedback, uh, we just re enabled the feedback plugin server on MariaDB.org. So uh, what? It would be nice if cPanel could actually ask users, do you want to enable this thing? I have it on my backlog to do, actually, uh, from the conference. I kept it there. So uh, we have we have a we have a backlog item that is enable the MariaDB feedback plugin for users or give users an option. Yeah. So if, if anyone is listening, um, enabling the feedback plugin will let us know exactly how you're using the server. It doesn't share any uh, private information. It just tells us you're using this feature or this feature. Then we know what's most popular, what we need to focus on. Because if we don't know this, we're just going to build off what we think is right, but that's not necessarily true. So uh, yeah, for anyone listening, um, consider enabling this. And like, if you have any bug that you really want solved, just make sure you uh, reach out to us. We are very happy to happy to listen to this. Okay. Um, Lauren, do you have any questions for me? I've been like kind of grilling you for um, 15 minutes already. <laughs> um, you know, I have a couple questions. Um, I, I, I really am super curious about, you know, what the future looks like with green technology and in, in, in conserving energy consumption. It's it's a thought on our minds also. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's actually a very good question. So uh, this actually is one thing we've been uh, working on, but not directly here. Like we're working on catalogs. Now catalogs is a very cool feature that's um, meant to allow um, hosting providers, whether they are, they are or they're not using cPanel, although I hope we can get some very strong integration with cPanel here. But the point is, um, as a hosting provider, if you're using virtual machines or if you're um, 
if you're sharing one server, uh, you kind of have to make a trade-off. Is it, um, if you use VMs, you use lots of memory just to keep the VM up. Uh, if you share a server, then you have to limit the user's experience. You can only give, grant them access to some databases. They, they don't have like a full server they can play with. When I, when I say server, I mean the database. With catalogs, we're trying to get the best of both worlds. So you get uh, the efficient resource usage of just having one server shared, but also the freedom as if you were running in, a, in your own VM. So um, now the reason why this is important, even for like a green standpoint, is that instead of wasting servers that are running idle, not doing anything, you can put as many users as that server will hold and basically maximize your hardware usage. So no more wasted uh, energy just running idle servers. And I think it makes it really a lot easier to identify abusers when they, when they do happen, which is also really great for that. Oh, yeah, of course. So catalogs will basically give you uh, per catalog statistics, so then you can easily track which ones, which is the noisiest neighbor of this bunch here, and then you can move them off to a different machine. So that's that's a very that's a very useful feature. We hope to uh, get this in. We've been working on this hard, and I believe we have actually a version to show uh, during this on conference. So we'll see. We can do a, a demo. Uh, later down or before, depending on when this uh, interview actually gets uh, uh, put live. I was going to ask you, uh, what are your plans looking like for, you know, releasing catalogs? Uh, so uh, catalogs is actually a pretty big project. There's lots of things that the server was not prepared for in order to support catalogs. So there's a lot of uh, effort. That needs to be done. But uh, actually, we are in a, I believe we're pretty close to actually having a proof of concept working. Thanks. Like separate users, separate databases, separate everything. Uh, there might be, of course, bugs. And I don't think we've tackled the replication problem well enough yet. So that's, that's one, uh, one thing that are remaining. But we're very close. We're very close to actually showing something. So That's uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. And the nice part was that the protocol, the one that was def def designed 20 years ago, had support for catalogs back then. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> whoever thought of this uh, protocol, hmm, one of the founders probably, um, like really uh, took the time to plan this out. So I'm. Uh, th that actually makes things much easier for us despite the complexity of this project as is. Yeah, that's really neat. Um, I think what, uh, so, right. Uh, we know you're working on catalogs, right? Which is mm -hmm. so exciting. Um, but besides that, what cool new stuff are you guys working on that we can also look forward to? Oh, we have lots of projects going on. Like, um, like we have, um, our new AI initiative, like AI is the like the the buzzword of the day, just like Bitcoin was a few years ago. Uh, so we are working on getting uh, vector support into MariaDB, and without go getting into too many technical details now, uh, vector support will allow you to basically do very smart searching for anything in your database. Oh, neat. It's almost like a full text search, only way, way better. That's really exciting. I, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Imagine you don't know what, uh, what to search for in your uh, WordPress website, and you just say, I want to get the information about some topic. And then you'll get from your website the exact pages on that topic that match. Yeah, I think that's amazing. And it'll save a lot of people a lot of time also, which I don't think people can ever save enough of. Right? <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so that's that's one of the cool features we're working on. Um, we have done lots of research on it already. We, have, uh, we, we know what the industry is doing. We're just doing 
like our version of what the industry is doing, we're just doing it the Murray DB way. Yeah, I, I love it. Uh, what, what, what areas would you improve if you could improve anything, if you had infinite time? Okay, so infinite time. Now, this is um, one thing that's very close to me and to my heart. So when I started working for MariaDB, I, I used to be a Google Summer of Code student. So that was maybe 10 years ago or something. And the, the trickiest thing in MariaDB uh, right now is actually getting to understand the code base. So the code base is actually pretty hard to understand just because it's like 25-year-old plus project. If I had infinite time, I would do everything possible in the server. I would try to make contributing to MariaDB like, I'll just wake up today in 20 minutes, I can get something done, and it's, I'll, I'll know it works. Get rid of the, the ramp up time, right? Basically, we, we, we have that issue also. It takes a while to kind of absorb all of that historical kind of tribal knowledge. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, you, you obviously are very familiar with that when, uh, like for us, a ramp up time is something like six months until a developer is actually productive. And that's that's very hard. And then we, we're we really working hard on this one. That, that basically means that if we ma manage to make the code more approachable, then we can get contributions from anyone. Yeah, we, we have like a, a similar problem. <laughs> and then I would probably extend our plugin interface, may, maybe allow us to get more community plugins. Yeah. Um, I'm probably putting you on the spot, but would there be any, um, any MariaDB feature that cPanel would like to have, like from a, anything that you really want your database to tell cPanel so that cPanel is easier to, integrate so i mean i think a lot of the upgrade or uh, the concern about moving between versions is um fear of upgrading right i think that you guys have done already a, and a fantastic job of making sure that upgrades from versions to versions are pretty seamless i think if i could do kind of anything um, I would make that upgrade grade process more like uh, take the fear out of it, take the scary out of it. But but I but I think you guys have already really done that. I really think it's actually on us to to at this point. It's a project I have. Uh, I would absolutely love to work with you guys too when I start to work on that project later on in this year. Uh, what might make people feel more at ease when they're upgrading? What did. Uh, would it surprise you to tell you that we have a project called Scary? No, well, because I, I, I know about it, but yeah, <laughs> when I heard about it, I was like, that's a really strange name for a project. <laughs> so for anyone who is not aware, so Scary is our, um, let's say, um, easy way of doing A-B testing in MariaDB. So you can get both a new server and a non-upgraded server, so old and new. Uh, you run the same queries in parallel and you see what works, what doesn't. That way, when you make the switch, you actually know exactly what's going to happen. So no surprises. That's really exciting uh, because I think that's one of the keys to making people feel more at ease, right? If if I, if I can say, all right, what's going to happen when I upgrade and I can see that everything's still going to work and confirm that everything's still going to work, well, what's my holdup for upgrading now? There's no reason not to, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're also working on another thing. Um, like one thing that tends to break when people upgrade is that their configs doesn't, don't um, don't work anymore. So we're actually working on a tool right now. There is a pull request already uh, of a tool that just compares um, the current version of MariaDB, the one that the tool is built for, with a config file and and tells you. MariaDB will start with this config file, or you need to fix these config lines because they are they are not no longer supported. That's really neat. Uh, we have a lot of users that end up creating custom configurations, and that is the thing that causes breakage when they, you know, in, in the chance that they do upgrade and something breaks, a lot of times it's a con custom configuration. Well, with any luck, we're going to get this done pretty soon. 
I'm, the, the code is there. It's, it probably needs some polishing, but uh, we'll we'll get it in soon. So that's well, another I... thing to look forward to. Yeah. OK, well, uh, I think we're running pretty close to our time limit here. So like, any closing thoughts you might have? Um, no, you know, just excited, as always, to work with you guys. And I'm excited to see where we go together in the future, especially yeah. like next year. I think um, thank you so much, Lauren. It's it's always a pleasure having a conversation with you. Like, I hope the the audience here is uh, as excited as we are about uh, cPanel, MariaDB, and everything in between. So, uh, thanks so much for tuning tuning in, and well, uh, hope to see you in person very soon. <laughs>